and here is Caro again, guys, with another video today in the Halloween spirit. So hope you're doing well. Today, this tutorial is going to be about the respiratory system, okay? So go ahead and get yourself your notebook and a pencil and follow along. So get your notebook and a pencil and follow along. All right, so on your notebook, please draw this graphic organizer, okay? So make sure you're drawing this graphic organizer and the title. So put the respiratory system. Underneath, put the main function is breathing. And on the right side, put the main parts or organs. Again, I'm going to go through it fairly quick. If you, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video and catch up, okay? All right, so let's start with, on the left-hand side, let's put one thing that the um, respiratory system allows you to do is inhale oxygen. So you inhale oxygen. And we're gonna draw a little picture to help us understand inhale. So just draw a little face and a nose and a mouth. And we're gonna draw an arrow to symbolize that oxygen is coming in, is being inhaled. Okay. Next, I want you to draw and write this caption to the next symbol. We're going to draw another face and a nose. and a mouth, and then we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna draw an arrow to symbolize that we're exhaling, we're breathing out CO2. So that is two things the uh, respiratory main function is. Inhale oxygen, and exhale CO2. On the other side, we're going to start to draw the parts. So the first part, let's draw, the first part is the nose. So we're going to draw a nose, and with the nose, inside your nostril pathway, there is nose hairs. And the main function of the nose hairs is to filter the air from particles and germs. So that is the nose and that is the function. Next we have the windpipe. So we're gonna draw the windpipe coming from the nose and it has a fancy science name. And the windpipe is called the trachea. And the trachea, the main function is that it connects the nose to the bronchi. So it connects the nose to the bronchi. And we'll get to the bronchi next. So the next part is the bronchi, it is a Y-shaped tubes and this two tubes connect, are going to deliver oxygen to the left lung and the right lung, okay? 
So let's write this caption right here. Bronchi will deliver oxygen to the left lung and the right lung. Fix this here. Cut offline a little bit. Two more parts. Next, we have the lungs. And the lungs, I'm going to draw in red. And the lungs, I'm going to draw a caption for the lungs. The main function of the lungs is to bring oxygen and write it right here. So the lungs is where the oxygen is stored, okay? That's where it's stored, and that's where um, the main breathing, the exchange of oxygen and CO2 happens, okay? Right. Inside the lung, we have a bunch of little smaller tubes that break down like this. They branch out like trees all over the lungs. And then we're going to draw at the end of each tube, we're going to draw like a magnifying glass. Inside those microscopic tubes are little clusters like grapes. Inside those clusters is called the alveoli. And the alveoli main function is main function is that's where the exchange that's where the exchange of oxygen and co2 occurs okay my right, one last part very very important the last part is called the diaphragm okay and it's a muscle i'm going to draw it blue it's a muscle that sits underneath your lungs and this muscle main function well, let me write it first and the main function is to relax and contract to help with inhale and exhale, to help with inhale and exhale. All right, and we'll do an experiment with it later today and you're gonna know what. So let me just review quickly the parts and then we'll be done. So in here we have the nose. I'm gonna point with the mouse. So the nose main function is to um, filter and moist the air from particles. The trachea is the tube, the pipe that connects the nose to the bronchi. The bronchi is where it splits in two, and this delivers oxygen to each lung, to the left lung and the right lung. Inside the lungs, 
then we have the lungs. The lungs is where oxygen is stored temporarily. And inside the lungs, there's microscopic little clusters called the alveoli. That's where the exchange of oxygen and CO2 occurs. And last, we have a muscle called the diaphragm. This muscle relaxes and contracts, which helps with the inhale and exhale. All right? To end this lesson, I'm going to end it with my traditional way. I was challenged, actually, to see how long I can, I can say bye. So let's see. I might could do it for two minutes. You ready? Bye. If you got annoyed, that was the point.